At the podium, incumbent Attorney General Levin Camacho, former AG Douglas Moylan, and writing candidate attorney Peter Santos wasting no time taking swings at each other. I remain the toughest Attorney General on Guam. Guam is on its way to falling apart. It doesn't need to be this way. The last four years of this Attorney General's policies have not worked. While he was Attorney General, Governor Camacho had to declare a state of emergency at the AG's office. He wants you to forget that he lost half of his staff, so much so that they were dismissing cases because they didn't have sufficient resources. I agree with both Doug Moylan and Levin Camacho that each other should not be the next attorney general. So go ahead and just write me in. If you don't want a repeat of this, then don't, don't uh, vote Levin or Doug. Attorney Jay Ariolo with the Guam Bar Association asking each candidate a series of questions pushing for answers as to why voters should pick them to be the next AG. The big question, how would they address the ongoing spike in crime? I would make prosecution whole again. It's like a, a, a team that has been losing every game. They need a new head coach and a new manager to rebuild the team and, and provide competent prosecution. I am the only one here, like I said, has, who has been a law enforcement. I have bled for this island, literally. I've been punched, kicked, slapped, thrown objects at, scratched, you name it. I've done that in the, in the Guam Police Department. I've bled also in the military for this country. I understand and know what it takes to rebuild a fighting force. It doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter what political affiliation you are, it doesn't matter whether you're my relative. I will prosecute my own mom when she gets out of dialysis if she, if she committed a crime. The problem we're having is that the deterrence element is not being properly implemented. Drugs are a key part of Guam's problems. Meth addiction is killing everybody, literally. Whether you're the meth addict, the child of a meth addict, the wife, or husband of a meth addict, or the friend or family member. You see what that drug is doing to you. Your teeth fall out, your organs start to fail, and this is when you're within two years of your, your taking it, depending on how much you're taking. Therapy isn't gonna help people stop taking drugs. You need to take them before the judge and face that abyss so that they want to help themselves. We have to be tough on crime, and we have been tough on crime. We have over a 90% conviction rate for homicides, which includes a conviction against Mr. Santos's client who was sentenced to life for brutally murdering someone. So we're gonna focus our resources on prosecuting the most violent offenders, repeat offenders, and it's happening today. Now where I really differ from Mr. Moylan in particular, I believe in treatment. The evidence shows that treatment works. Drug addicts aren't animals. The best way to solve crime is to prevent it from happening. So how do we do that? We invest in our community, economic, economically. We are investing in interdiction. We have partnered with Customs to have more canine units. There were over 76 pounds of meth that were intercepted, seized by canines this year alone. Over 400 pounds over the last few years. No matter the response, the voters get the final say come November 8th.